All right, so let's come on up. The first thing we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna go through one session of one pattern. So one thing, okay? Now, I should note on neuromuscular control, to me, this is just a game. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of things that aren't right or wrong or the best exercises. What I'm gonna say for neuromuscular control is you can do anything you want for an exercise as long as you understand these principles. So think about principles and not say, well, this is the only exercise I can do for neuromuscular control. Think about the principles. And what I'm gonna use for an example, and we're gonna start from phase one and we're gonna go all the way through the phases of neuromuscular control, is we're gonna just do a bit of a lunge into a balanced position. Okay, so what we call the balance position for the leg, okay, for the entire leg, is about 30 degrees, this athletic position, we've all seen it, about 30 degrees of knee flexion and kind of balanced, right? So your ears are above kind of your hips, your feet, everything's kind of balanced, but 30 degrees of knee flexion. That's important. Because remember we talked about dynamic stability earlier. You don't want to be at end range. You don't want to do a lunge onto a straight knee. Yes, you're very stable, but that's going to challenge your static structures, like your ACL, for example. That's how you hurt yourself. So you need to be able to lunge and stick it in an athletic position and be stable dynamically. So 30 degrees. 30 degrees corresponds to the position of the knee that has the best or, or easiest ability to co-contract between your quad and your hamstring. Okay, so the 30 degree we call the balance position, your athletic position, and that's what we're gonna go through.